Hey everyone, it's Fish Bazooka. Let's talk about ranked duels, some loadout tips, and the new patch. After will be a compilation of some duels I had with some of the loadouts I'll show you later. I noticed a kick server full error, but it seems to be working a lot better now. In ranked matchmaking, you should be placed within 200 MMR of your opponent. If you type m.showmatchmaking debug space 1, you can see your MMR. I'm sitting around 1717. I played about 15 to 20 duels and I'm, I think I'm climbing fairly well. I'd say my skill level hovers around like early platinum, possibly close to diamond. I'm an above average player. Uh, I think I can reach late platinum, possibly diamond soon if I keep playing duels constantly. I'd like to see myself reach late diamond and maybe one day elite. You're going to lose a lot in ranked. You will definitely feel defeated. You may even get tilted as well. Rank will bring the worst out of you. Just try not to give up. Maybe take a break and try again later. I promise, like, it feels very good to see yourself progress as a better player. Sometimes it may feel like cheese, but there's ways around the cheese. To beat the cheese, you gotta be the cheese. So I started using the rapier and the buckler, and the reason why I started was because I saw Guru on stream get to rank elite one with the rapier and a buckler. He's the first player I've seen hit elite, and his matchmaking cues were taking forever, probably because there was no one who had reached his skill level yet. He climbed insanely fast. I highly recommend watching Guru, Stouty, and other high skill players. Watch them duel, I'm learning and taking tips from them. After the update, many mechanics have changed and certain weapons feel and work differently. You're gonna have to break out of your comfort zone, try new weapons and get used to some of the mechanical changes if you wanna climb and become a better player. Keep practicing and get your ass kicked. There's no other way around it. From what I found out, the Executioner, Messer, Evening Star, Mace, Rapier, and Buckler are very strong right now. Some people are still doing great with Swy Handers, Long Swords, Great Swords, etc. But I've noticed the weapons I mentioned more frequently. I even saw one guy climbing in diamond with a short spear and a heater shield. Here's the loadouts I'm using. Most of these loadouts are all uh, 333 heavy armor. It's up to you if you want to throw in like bandages, perks like second wind or tenacious. So choose whatever floats your boat. I love the executioner right now and the rapier buckler combo. I'm going to try and use the messer a bit more. I haven't used the mace or the evening star much yet so I'd like to give those a go as well. On top of all the gameplay mechanics and gameplay that change, Crossroad is much more balanced now. A new capture section has been added. So the cannon uh, has been moved from the main structure to this one. Uh, blue side now has an under patches to the wall, another ladder to climb on and so on. I noticed a new spawn section for the red side. There's a new wall uh, fence area on this side of the field. Also it looks like there's way more trees and paths. The map is shaping up real nice and I think people will enjoy it more now with all the new changes. The two new maps, Fatora and Castella, will be releasing within the next few weeks. I'm very excited for the new game mode Invasion, which is a large scale attack and defend mode. Uh, I'm pretty sure most of you heard about that already. I'd also love to see a capture the flag game mode in the future. Um, also, Rank 3v3 will be releasing soon. And then after all this, modding support. I can't wait for the modding. I want to cauterize someone with a lightsaber and see some crazy horde mods. For all you modders out there, keep up the good work. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Oh! <laughs> 
Oh! 